In the Nevada desert, a group of men break into a military base and steal a top secret project, intending to use Third Street School as their headquarters. Meanwhile, TJ, Detweiler and his friends pull one last prank before school closes for the summer and get away with it. TJ is anticipating spending summer with his friends, but he is shocked to learn TH. And they've all decided to go to different summer camps, leaving the next morning. Two days later, while riding around town alone, TJ notices strange activity going on at the school before being Chaz. Head off by an aggressive bald man named Kojak. Investigating further the next day, he sees some scientists inside using a tractor beam to levitate a safe. He tells his parents and the police, but neither believe him. He then goes to Principal Prickly for help, but Prickly is dematerialized after putting his key in the lock, leaving only his shoes behind. Desperate, TJ blackmails his older sister, Becky, to drive him to each of the camps to pick up his friends. TJ and his friends obtain a box from one of the vehicles at the school, only to find inconsequential school documents inside. TJ's friends accuse him of lying to them until they witness a giant laser device emerge from the school in Kojak disguised as Prickly, verifying TJ's suspicions. They then formulate a plan involving Goy, NG to camp during the day and meeting up at night. The following day, TJ finds Prickly's golf pants in the dumpster, with a note reading, Help me, in the pocket, TJ and his friends infiltrate the school that night to rescue Prickly. Unaware that school snitch Randall beams overheard their plans. Randall informs the school deputy principal Muriel Finster, who intends to catch them red-handed. Inside the school, the kids discover the auditorium has been turned into a laboratory and are caught after Mikey burps. TJ is captured by the guards while his friends escape, which a flabbergasted Finster and Randall witness. TJ is then locked inside the stock room, encountering a bound and gagged prickly. The pair soon learn that the man currently overseeing the operation inside the school is Dr. Philliam Benedict. Prickly's best friend from the 1960s. Prickly exposits Benedict's background to TJ. In 1968, he, Finster and Benedict went to teacher training. Finster was Benedict's girlfriend at that time. When appointed principal of Third Street School, Benedict decided to abolish recess to improve test grades, but furious parents protested his decision. Prickly asked the superintendent to encourage Benedict to rescind. But when Benedict declined, the superintendent fired him and appointed Prickly as principal, with Finster dumping Benedict out of disgust for his cruel plans. S.W. Hearing revenge on Prickly for his losses, Benedict went into politics, eventually becoming Secretary of Education, until he was fired by the President for reattempting to abolish recess nationwide. T.J.'s friends look through several of Benedict's notes inside the box, where Spinelli acquires a date book that mentions Lunar Perigee, taking place at 12.22 pm the next day. Gretchen realizes that T. He device they saw earlier is a tractor beam and deduces that Benedict plans to use it to move the moon when it nears Earth. T.J. and Prickly get to Prickly's office, where they discover Benedict's P.L and to destroy summer vacation by creating a new permanent ice age that will force kids indoors to study year-round, and alert TJ's friends before they are captured again, but eventually escape. Meanwhile, TJ's friends persuade Becky to drive them to the camps and pick up all the other students. Taking charge, Gus concocts a plan to invade the school, which succeeds, and most of Benedict's henchmen are defeated. Meeting up with TJ and Prickly, the group confronts Benedict in the auditorium, who summons more guards to stop them. However, Finster bursts in along with the teachers to save Prickly and the students. And a battle ensues. Benedict attempts to activate the beam himself, but Prickly punches him out, causing him to fall on and activate the beam. With Prickly unable to reverse it, TJ tosses his baseball to Vince and instructs him to throw it at the machine, destroying it. 
The police arrive at the school and arrest Benedict and his henchmen for their crimes. As the student, as and teachers are praised by the media for thwarting Benedict's plot, TJ's friends decide to spend the rest of their summer vacation with him. TJ goes to Prickly's office to thank him. Prickly thanks TJ for reminding him that he started teaching to help kids. TJ then leaves with his friends as Prickly puts on his peace symbol necklace from 1968, then jokingly reminds TJ he is still going to be in trouble for his earlier prank when September comes.